Hey everyone, three months ago I uploaded a YouTube short, The Noob vs. Pro Artist in Blender, where we filled a box container with apples, and almost 5 million of you guys watched it. Thank you so much. In this video, I'm gonna show you the pro artist's approach step by step in a longer video format. I hope you all enjoy it. Before we start, please make sure to like the video. Let's go. Here we have our apple models. By the way, this could be any object. Let's select one of the apples and bring it upwards. Set the origin to geometry. Then we're gonna go to the physics properties. Let's add a rigid body physics. Now if we play the timeline, the apple will simply fall down, so we need a passive rigid body object. Let me show you what I mean. If we add a simple mesh plane, and add a rigid body, and play the animation, nothing happens. This is because we need to change the type of the plane's rigid body to passive. Now, if we play the simulation, we'll get this. Cool, that's what we want. Let's save this. In this case, the idea is we want to fill a box with these apples so we don't need this plane. Okay, here we are. So let's scale up the box and apply the scale. All right, in the same way, now we're going to add a rigid body physics to the box. Now, when we play the animation, the apple isn't getting inside the container. That's because we need to change the shape to mesh, because here the collision objects are a little complex. Okay, so now let's duplicate the apples. Actually, we could use the array modifier, but for now, I'll just duplicate them. To add a rigid body to all the apples, simply select the one which has a rigid body, then select all, go to object, rigid body, then copy from active. All right, now let's play the timeline. you can move them to a single collection. Now here I want to show something. If you see the borders of the container, you'll notice there's a gap between the apples and the box. I mean, there's no direct contact between them. Why does this happen? It's because Blender, by default, gives some margin distance to the objects. To fix that, select the box, drop the sensitivity, decrease the margin almost to zero. If you see now, it's perfect. Cool. Let's duplicate the apples one more time, and if we play the animation... Cool. This is generally how you fill any container with any objects in Blender. So now we can bake the simulation. Before I finish the video, let me answer some questions from the short video's comment section. Most of you guys thought the simulation was for game assets. Because of that, you mentioned many things. Among them, the waste of CPU on hidden apples at the bottom was the most mentioned thing. Actually, we can bake the simulation into keyframes so that we, we can delete those hidden apples in order to save our computer's performance. So let me show you that. Select all the apples. Go to Object, Rigid Body, then Bake to Keyframes. 
So now the simulation is no longer just a simulation, but it's turned into keyframes. As you can see, there's a bunch of location and rotation keyframes. And if you select the apples and go to the physics properties, you won't see the rigid body added. So now we can delete the hidden apples. And another thing, most of you guys notice that these Apple models have too much geometry. As you can see, it's very dense, but in the short video, I didn't have much time to show how to decrease the geometry count. My only aim was to show you only the rigid body process. So if you want to decrease the poly count, there are a couple of ways, like unsubdividing. But in this case, you can add a decimate modifier. And if you see the face counts are too much, so you can decrease them until you get a good result. But this will affect the details of the mesh, so consider that. Don't decrease too much. So this is it guys. I hope you've learned something from the video. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you.